are so kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. My next guest, man, this guy, fantastic guy. I think he went to St. Augustine's, you know, and uh, from there he went to Cape Vice. He did his uh, degree in tourism, and then from there he ended up in the U.S. studying for master's in IT, or IT management, something like that. And he's back in Ghana, and he started something really, really profound. It's the biggest award we have in the film and television industry. I'm sure you know of the RTP Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the founder, Prince McKay. Show us some love, man. Hey, very good, very good, very good. There you go. Peace. Yes, sir. I'm Who is you? Me, since you are. No, no, no. You see, I'm a boss. You see, I'm a boss. You see, I'm Thank you so much yeah, for being here today. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we shall have fun. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Oluman Buki will be right back. The KSM Show. We are back. Please welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Friends, welcome to the show. I heard you once before, but that time you came in briefly to talk about the no, RTP no. Awards, you know. I've never had you profiled as a, as a guest. Yes. So I'm very, very happy that you're back today. And today we're going to get more into the, the yeah. man called Prince McKay. <laughs> Thanks so much for the opportunity. Sir. My pleasure. So you, uh, Augustine's, eh? St. Augustine's, yeah. yeah. Wow. I, I, I did my... Um, I did my secondary education with St. Augustine. Okay, okay. Then I moved on to, <coughs> to do tourism. Tourism. That's my first degree in the University of Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to the States to do my master's in IT. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we came back. And then you came back. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you in the States? For like uh, five years. Five years? Yes. Wow, what state? New Jersey. Oh, you're in New Jersey? A Jersey boy. <laughs> New Jersey, yes, yes, yes. But, yes. but you came back, yeah. and um, we're going to be talking about the Good Governance Awards where yeah. you, you are featured prominently. But before then, you started RTP. Sure. What, what, what inspired you to, to go and decide, let me honor people in this industry? Okay, thank you very much, uh, KSM, King of uh, Prime Time. Well, uh, you know, when, we came, when I came back from the States, uh, I moved into... Um, a hotel industry where I was uh, a manager for one of the hotels in the town. Hmm. I stayed there for about eight months and I realized that was not my place. Was it? Yeah. yeah. So I moved on and I actually set up what we call the presenter's guide. It was the first time that radio presenters had to be put on TV for people to see the, the, the work of radio. So uh, the likes of, uh, it was actually a reality show. And mm. the likes of uh, Delay, that gave birth to the likes of Delay, mm. Black Rasta, of Ake and the Dust. They all walked through the program? Yes, actually. That's what gave them their, their, their popularity and fame. So it, was, it became an instant hit, actually, where everybody was watching them, how they do their show in the studios and all of that. After that, then I thought, okay, why don't we come up with something for uh, a scheme for the radio and television industry? Mm. And so um, we, we talked, I mean, I, I, I saw you, we talked, we talked to several people, um, uh, what's his name, um, Tommy and Force mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm. rest of them, we talked and then uh, we started the RTP Awards, which has become one of the biggest award schemes in the country and across Africa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is, it is arguably the biggest, right? Yeah, the biggest. Mm -hmm. The RTP Awards. So, so, so. How did that come about? I know you thought about having the awards, but I'm talking about actually getting it in motion. Yeah, it, it wasn't easy, actually. You know, before we started this, it wasn't easy to actually put even five of these personalities together to do anything. It was very difficult. But I think that grace is what got us there. By the grace of God, we managed to be able to... And that people had faith in us, you understand? When you are doing something, you need to be able to... Uh, one of the things that we, we actually don't lose sight of is the credibility. Mm. So we understood from day one that we were dealing with the radio and television industry, mm -hmm. where if you are not mm -hmm. careful, somebody mm -hmm. can actually uh, uh, test your pulse with some, <laughs> some small money and then get rid of your program from day one. So we knew to set the system so that it wasn't possible for anybody to influence. Mm. So we built the credibility so high. In fact, the first year was in a 
2011, mm -hmm. we, we had it at a, a um, banquet hall. Mm -hmm. Very successful show. And our second show, we did it at the dome of the Accra International Conference Center, where we had about 6,500 people seated mm -hmm. on the night. That's mm -hmm. where we had the likes of Korean Tree and mm -hmm. all these artists passing through. Then we came to the third year, the fourth year, the fifth year. I think the fourth year you were uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we actually have the, the, the first Hall of Fame for radio and television in Africa. So um, we built it on to the fifth year where we were voted the best organized event. And then the sixth year was last year. This year is actually going to be the seventh. Seven year. years already? Yes. Seven wow. Years, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and how... how and that is getting better as it goes along. Yeah. I yeah. remember the very first very year was a lot of uh, yeah. trauma, and uh, yeah, exactly. they said you had ignored certain regions and things like e that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, as, as I'm talking, we are the only award scheme that have categories for regionals and people winning across the entire regions. If you look at the, um, the I actually checked on the, the winners from 2011 to 2016. I realized that people have been winning from the north the 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 Volta region so it's not a scheme actually for just so it's a na national it's a, it's a national, national field. exactly yeah. yeah it has a yeah. national appeal and and of course you always encounter this allegation when you do awards that exactly. some people were favored or even perhaps <laughs> some people bought you don't hear all of that stuff. well uh, we for us in i mean nobody can claim that rtp was bought you know we've had times where people will call me personally and say, boss, so do we have an award scheme that you can win and you don't even know anybody on it? They thought that it wasn't possible. But you see, we built the scheme for credibility and we knew the grounds that we were trading on. A place that nobody dared to go because it was a very tough grounds. Mm -hmm. You are dealing with the media who knows it all, mm -hmm. the makers and the shakers of everything. So when you are doing something for media, you need to be able to set the standards so, that, so much so high that nobody can influence the system, can influence, question the yeah. system. So we've had great minds, great people working for us. And just recently, we, we actually um, uh, signed on the former marketing director for Tigo. Uh, Mr. Jesse Ejapon, who is now the Chief Operations Officer for the RTP Awards. Fantastic. That's great, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Very soon, uh, actually, by the end of this year, we are launching the UK edition. UK edition? Yes. And of next, the RTP Awards? Of the RTP Awards. And next year, God willing, we are moving to five other African countries. We are moving to Nigeria. We are moving to Botswana. We are moving to Kenya. We are moving to Liberia. And so is, is that something that the RTP... Uh, 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 organizers here in Ghana are going to go and do, or you're yeah. going to market to them as a franchise? They can. Well, we we actually have had uh, meetings with all of these stakeholders. Mm -hmm. We've been to several. Uh, we've been, we've travelled several to some of these countries, and we've talked to uh, bodies within the country that are actually going to handle the project. Mm -hmm. But then we have the blueprint, so we'll be having a team go there to be able to mm -hmm. ensure that mm -hmm. the, the the blueprint is well taken care mm -hmm. of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it becomes like a... It's actually a trademark. We, we registered this as a, as a trademark. Okay. And so we, we actually given a franchise to them to be able to... to for instance, Botswana like that. Uh, we had the Minister for uh, Youth and Culture mm -hmm. say that this is what we need in this country mm. and we are willing to sponsor it, to mm. put money into it, to make it happen. Mm. And so um, you realize that um, before RTP started, we had several presenters trying to sound like somebody. You realize that... Many people wanted to sound like KS, and many people wanted to sound like Sefaka, many people wanted to sound like, uh, let's say, Abeku Santana and the rest. But these days, hardly would you see that happening because you realize that RTP stands for uniqueness. Mm -hmm. And if you, mm -hmm. if you are not unique on your own, mm -hmm. it's not possible for mm -hmm. anybody to mm -hmm. even uh, look at what you are doing mm -hmm. to even mm -hmm. nominate you for even mm -hmm. an award. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the same thing that the, the rest of the other African countries are seeing for us to be able to help them build their and shape up their media landscape mm -hmm, as well, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, that's, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. Thanks. That's absolutely fantastic. So, so um, who makes the final decision yeah. that uh, so-and-so is getting the award for, let's say, the best, uh, the best female okay. presenter in sports or whatever? Okay. Who, who has the authority to make that decision okay. and what is it based on? Let me take you through the uh, nomination process mm -hmm. itself. We have what we call the, um, the industry aspects, so okay. the peer review, where we have two forms. We send forms to the various media houses. 
that's a manual way of going. That one is actually handled by the media managers or the program directors themselves. Mm. Mm. They will sit down as a team and then file for the people that they think are going to make it for them. Okay. Then we also understand that, okay, sometimes some of these media people, because of favoritism and all of that, people are not really giving their fair deal. Mm. So, mm. okay, let's have a, a, an, an electronic session where on our official website, we can open up the forms for people. If you trust in yourself and you believe that mm. within a particular year of review, you have worked so hard, you go there and then file for yourself. So if your management have not filed for you, you still have an opportunity to file for yourself mm. online. Mm. That process is there. Then all of it comes together. We have mobile content to we'll put all of this thing together and then tell us how many people have filed for a morning show, how many people have filed for a mid-morning show, how many people have fi filed for maybe sports right time, and blah, all of yeah, that. Yeah. Then they further break it down and say, when it came to that this Mr. Susan and Sue having these number of people filing for them. When it came to uh, uh, drive time, we had Mr. Susan and Sue had this number of people filing for them. So all of those things are put together and given to us, and then we'll review it, and the committee will sit down to say, okay, this is our criteria that we are using for this year. We are looking at the impact that the person has made within a particular year of review. So let's see the impact the person has done. Let's look at the, the person's uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the person's uh, impact in terms of social economic reviews that the person has been able to impact on the minds of people, many, many more, more that they look at. So all of that is put together. Then eventually, they come up with the final list, depending on how many people will have to make the list within a particular year. But we've done that from uh, five to seven. Sometimes we did five, sometimes we did seven. This year we are doing six. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. Show him some love, man. Show some love. <laughs> and, and finally, and finally, the, is it the Corporate Governance Award? The Good Governance Award. The Good Governance Award. Yeah. So, so there's uh, actually a think tank policy uh, group that looked at what, uh, whatever we have done mm -hmm. within six years. They looked at the fact that with a media landscape like Ghana, which is a very thriving one, uh, they've been a uh, body or uh, certain individuals who've been able to put up a very credible scheme for the media industry. So they actually approached us, went through some few interviews, and then they made me or they conferred on me the, the CEO for the Good Governance Awards. Now, the Good Governance is all about, um, it's a scheme for the government appointees. We're looking at the MMDCs, mm -hmm. the ministers mm -hmm. of state, mm -hmm. the uh, MPs, and all the people that you can think of in governance. Most of these people have worked over the years, mm -hmm. but there's nothing to be able to what, appreciate them for. We also want to understand that many people have been there and we've claimed they've not been competent. Mm. So the scheme should be able to look out for people who are thriving and, and making mm. sure that they are doing excellently on the field. You understand? So we have liaised with international bodies like the BBC, the CNN and all of that. Where, for instance, our topmost category is going to be the Minister of the Year Award. Mm. And the Minister of the Year Award is actually going to be giving the spotlight on the international platform where do you be interviewed, you or she will be interviewed on international platforms, how he's been able to move his industry, to, uh, sorry, his uh, ministry to mm -hmm, make it mm -hmm. a, 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 a big, a big, a, a, a big mm -hmm, deal in mm -hmm. the country. Well, that is so fantastic. So, yeah, basically talking about an award scheme sure. for, for ministers, the, the and MMDCs, MMD, yeah. and, and, the and you were the one chosen to be exactly. like CEO of the scheme. Sure, they, that's 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 a milestone. I'm sure it's allowed. Me. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that I was told was that they were looking at people with credibility because mm -hmm. if you are looking for a scheme that would actually honor credibility mm. and honor integrity and discourage corruption and all the rest. You need to find people with integrity, mm. people who have themselves not corrupted themselves. Mm. So mm. actually, um, a lot of search was done about me. They approached most of the media owners to find out how I've handled the, the RTP scheme, the credibility and all of that as to whether this guy comes to them for money and all of this. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them recommended that, oh, this person is clean. And Fantastic. so you, you, can, Fantastic. you can actually deal with this person. So Fantastic. they approached me with this on a few interviews here and there, and I was confirmed. 
as the CEO for. So I have a five year, actually I have a five year mandate of them. Fantastic. to build the, the Good Governance Awards. Okay, yeah. okay. The Good Governance Awards is actually going to thrive on research. We're actually going to be depending on the populace to make decisions for us. But most of those decisions will be done through research. So we, at the moment, we have been able to employ uh, three university professors who are, when it comes to research, they are really, really, really fantastic so, yeah. and solid in, in that aspect. So these people are the ones putting up the research methodology. In fact, when we are asking for, uh, uh, when you ask uh, any, uh, anybody, you go to, for instance, you go to any district and you say, uh, your MP, or you go to any region and you ask your MP, how well is he excelling? Oh, your MP, you're a very good pal. A <laughs> year about that. You understand? That's the that's that's, that's Exactly. Yeah. That's what they used to measure, but that's not a real core of the uh, yeah. uh, uh, role of an M yeah. um, MP. So we need to be able to educate the people through our research team to be able to educate the people so that eventually when we ask them how well their people are faring, they can be able to tell us exactly mm. who is doing well and who is not doing well. Mm -hmm. So we have a solid research team and all, all over the regions at the moment as I'm talking to you, we've been able to secure uh, regional coordinators mm. who are actually going to help the team put together an entire, I mean, very big scheme Fantastic, in Ghana here. Man. Congratulations, so, man, by the way. You, thank you very much. That's, thank that's, you very that's, much. That's, that's a very, very uh, remarkable uh, uh, milestone. Thank yeah? you. Thank you. You're very married? Much. I'm not married yet. <laughs> hey, now, fine. Um, <laughs> are there anybody in the works or you are just. Oh, um, by <laughs> God's grace, I should be. I should be I'm not hooked up yet, but I, I should be looking very soon. Then. You should be looking. Yeah. So have you started looking? No, I, I've been busy working. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yes, sir. I've been busy working. You've yeah, been busy working. Yeah, but yeah. What, what do you do outside of work, you know? How um, do you relax? How does springs, you know, cool off? Uh, I, 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 I do travel. You travel? Sometimes when, when I have to cool out, mm. uh, cool off. I do take a trip out to, you know... Uh, uh, relax my myself yeah wow yeah. okay yeah. okay well congratulations man Thank you very much and uh, and this whole uh, uh being made the ceo of this very magnificent scheme it's yes. very 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 uh, laudable thank you very much so congratulations thank you. Love one more time thanks Mackay. and uh well done and keep up the good work thank you very much sir stick thank around you. folks we will be right back don't move, don't blink, don't breathe. The KSM Show will be right back. The KSM Show.